Welcome back. Keep your questions and comments coming in. Our landline numbers are 325 3339 or 325 0084. You can also text us on Digicel 7958 6658 or B Mobile 7565 0703 or post your questions and comments on our Facebook page, NBC News PNG. We have uh, Dame Carol still with us in the studio tonight. Dame, we've got a text message that's come in from one of our audience. How many years have you been a member for Moresby South and why did you decide to leave politics? I was a member for 15 years, three terms, from 1997 to 2012. When I actually entered politics, I had it in my mind that if, I, if the people of Moresby South allowed me, I would stay three terms, and that's what I did, and I retired. I think it's, we all need to know when it's time to leave, and I wanted to do other things with my life. I didn't want to spend, finish my life in politics. Hmm. We have another text message from a woman's perspective. What's the most difficult challenge you faced during your political career? Uh, I don't necessarily think it's a woman's perspective for any politician. When I went in there, I was a politician, I was a parliamentarian. I didn't define myself as a woman. Um, and for any parliamentarian, it's to negotiate and compromise to get to the final outcome that you're wanting in terms of legislation or policy. And you have to get enough people on board, you have to work with other people and get other people with you as, yeah, uh, perhaps that's a bit harder for a woman. Uh, but it's the same for a male politician as well, I think. Okay. Um, the Dame Carol, if I can go back to the equality bill that you, you've pushed. Mm -hmm. You're outside politics. Um, the bill is left behind. I'm sure you're still pa uh, passionate about um, women involvement, active women involvement in politics. What are some of the um, other things you are doing from the outside? Um, rather, f rather than from your initial mm -hmm. effort when you were in Parliament trying to push the bill? Well, with the bill, I, I was pushing it on behalf of women. Uh, I always knew it was an uphill battle, and I think it did achieve a lot in terms of awareness mm -hmm. and raising that public consciousness mm -hmm. that there is a space in the House of Parliament for women, not just the House in the sense of the domestic House. Um, I think now I involve myself when I can with things like campaign training. I've been doing campaign training with uh, a DFAD pro program, Pacific Women, uh, <clears throat> with the things like the Women's uh, Mock Parliament that is happening now, and just generally encouraging, encouraging women. I live my private life. A lot of people think I've left the country, but I actually am down at Tarama, where I have been for a long time, my whole political life, yes. How important is mindset considering that our cultural values already inhibit us from having equal standing? Do you well, think women need a positive mindset to know they can... Women have to be very determined. You can't, anyone going to politics, you have to be very determined. You have to know what you're going in there for. It's not just to deliver something to your people. There's, there's got to be a very clear vision of what you're going in for. And the mindset is the mindset of the person themselves, but the mindset of the people. And yes, there needs to be adjustment in the mindset of people still. Uh, we heard uh, the earlier um, commentary came in, which is very common. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we are part of the global society. If we want to take the benefits of a global society, we have to look at how we measure up in a global society. I don't mean we have to co copy the Western world. In fact, the worst thing I think is to become a, a bad photocopy of another society. We have to adapt our democracy to Papua New Guinea, and we are doing that. You couldn't say now we're a real Westminster system. We're becoming a big man or a big Mary democracy, and so we have to manage how that evolves. It's natural to happen. Dame Carol, if I can take you back to your political um, um, experience. Um, after the 97 um, elections, mm -hmm. uh, you were involved in the shift in the um, electoral system we had from the first past the post mm -hmm. to the LPV system. How, how, what was your experience with the new system? Was it helpful um, in, um, and, um, in recognizing women, in helping women get into well, Parliament. 
Well, 2007 was the first LPV vote. It was my final uh, campaign. I, I don't think I u understood it well enough. I don't think I utilised it well enough. And it certainly wasn't helping in getting women in then. Um, I ended up back there by myself. In the last election, whether it was LPV helped get three more women in or not, we need an analysis of that. Um, you know, I, I looked at some of it and certainly there are elements of the LPV system that did help women then. I think it's very important that women and men understand the limited prefer preferential system very, very well and how it works. I, if I was standing for election again, I would be far more um, careful about managing that system than I was in 2007 when I didn't really understand it the first, that when I, in that election. Mm. Then Carol Kidu, um, a three-term female parliamentarian and a passionate advocate of women participation in um, politics. Dame Carol wraps up um, the show for tonight and we also thank um, our other guests on elections 2017. Those were um, Delciana Somara Bresh, the strategic advisor of Pangu Party and um, secretary of the Department of Community Development, uh, Youth and Religion, Anna Solomon. Um, Anna? we just like to remind our voters to check your respective electoral offices in your province to ensure your names are on the common roll. You only have this period to make any corrections and this includes accurate names, correct polling station and other important details. Remember that your vote also counts. Thank you and um, on behalf of um the entire NBC production and technical crew. I'm Kelvin Kasper. And I'm Hannah Joku. Thank you for joining us on Elections 2017. Stay, join us again for our next program on March 22nd. Until then, have a good night. Good night.